In this session, we are talking about the side effects of statin medication use. So we're going to talk about what statins are and some of the mild and severe side effects of use of statins. What are statins? Statins are medications used to lower or reduce blood cholesterol levels. So they all have the suffix statin in their name. One example is atorvastatin, another one is simvastatin, and another one is rosuvastatin. Now the statin medications inhibit synthesis of cholesterol via inhibition of HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. So they inhibit the activity of HMG-CoA reductase enzyme, which is involved in producing cholesterol. So there are many, many different enzymatic steps in between HMG-CoA reductase and cholesterol, but this is the rate-limiting step in cholesterol synthesis. So if statins bind to this enzyme, they prevent cholesterol production or synthesis. But the problem is statins may cause a variety of mild and or severe side effects. We're going to talk about the side effects in the next upcoming slides. There are certain patient characteristics that increase the risk of having side effects. These include being female, older age patients, especially greater than 80 years of age are at an increased risk as well. Having certain medical conditions increases your risk for having side effects of statin medications. These include kidney disease, liver disease, and hypothyroidism or a low functioning thyroid. Being a heavy alcohol consumer is also another risk factor for having statin side effects. And then using multiple cholesterol-lowering medications can also increase your risk for having side effects from statins as well. Now let's talk about the side effects of statins. One of the main side effects of statin medications is myalgia or myopathy. Myalgia is muscle pain and myopathy is muscle disease. That's what those words mean. So the symptoms that patients experience with myalgia and myopathy include muscle aches, pains, and tenderness. So they can have places where their muscles feel very tender, or they can have aches and pains, and in some cases, severe pain. We're going to talk about that in a moment. This is relatively common. It can affect upwards of 50% of patients. So the range is quoted as 20 to 50% of patients will experience issues with muscle aches and pains. This is a dose-dependent effect, so the higher the dose of statin, the more likely and more severe these myalgia symptoms are going to be. Most of the time it's mild symptoms, but there may be more severe symptoms with rhabdomyolysis occurring, but this is a rare outcome of statin use. So rhabdomyolysis is muscle breakdown. We can see this in blood work, increased levels of creatine kinase. So rhabdomyolysis is when the muscles actually start to break down and this can have severe pain in the affected muscles. And if this is not treated properly, this can lead to kidney issues as well. And another very important, significant side effect of statin use is hepatitis. So hepatitis, the word hepatitis means inflammation of the liver. Hepat means liver. Itis means inflammation. And we can see this in blood work, increased liver transaminases. So as the liver becomes damaged, the liver releases enzymes into the blood and we can detect these enzymes. What is noted in patients that are affected with hepatitis from statins is that there's right upper quadrant pain or tenderness. So right upper quadrant is in this area here. So if we're looking straight at the patient, this is the patient's right side, this is the patient's left side, and this is the right upper quadrant. So this is where the liver is located and this is where the patient's going to experience pain and tenderness. And in some cases, if the hepatitis is severe, there can be significant liver damage leading to some jaundice. So jaundice is yellowing of the skin and yellowing of the whites of the eyes. If there is yellowing of the whites of the eyes, that is known as scleral icterus. And there can be some other signs and symptoms of liver disease as well. If you want more information on signs and symptoms of liver disease, please check out my lesson on that topic. But this is more of a rare side effect of statin use, although it can occur. So myalgia and myopathy, very common, very important to recognize with statins, and then hepatitis may occur as well. Some other side effects of statins include headaches. This may actually be the most common side effect of statin use, and there may be some migraine headache, especially in patients who are more susceptible to migraine headaches, so statins may trigger migraine headaches. But paradoxically, there's also some evidence that demonstrates that statins if they're used with vitamin D supplementation, may actually reduce the risk of severe headaches and migraines. So some evidence shows that statins perhaps cause headaches or migraine headaches, but 
in some cases, if they are combined with vitamin D supplementation, they may actually reduce some symptoms of severe headaches and migraines. So, so this is very interesting. There may be some differences in side effect profiles depending on vitamin D levels in certain patients. So very interesting, but there is some contradicting evidence here. Another side effect of statin use is fatigue. This is, again, one of the most common side effects of statins. And this may be related to muscle weakness. So because of the myalgia and myopathy, there can be some muscle weakness. This may lead to a feeling of fatigue. So this can also be another side effect of statin use. Another side effect of statin use is memory issues. This is an uncommon side effect. And there can be some reduced memory or memory loss with statin use. So there can be some issues with cognition with statins. However, this appears to reverse when statins are discontinued. So some patients may have issues with retention of certain memories or loss of certain memories, but when they are stopped, when they have discontinued statins, these memory issues are resolved. So this is another very important side effect that can occur in some patients. Another possible side effect of statin use is sleep disturbances. Statins may cause issues with insomnia, although unlikely. So there has been some evidence that may suggest that statins cause insomnia, but this doesn't seem to be very strong evidence. If it does occur, if statins do cause issues with insomnia, the statins that are more likely to do that are simvastatin and atorvastatin. The reason being is that they are more fat soluble. So the theory is that perhaps they can cross the blood brain barrier easier and cause issues with sleep. So this can be a possible reason, but again, sleep disturbances may occur with statin use, although again, it is unlikely. Another side effect of statin use is presyncope. This is a sensation of lightheadedness or dizziness. So this can occur with statin use. And there can also be issues with bowel habit changes. Bowel habit changes meaning constipation and or diarrhea. So there can be a change in normal bowel habits. And patients can alternate between constipation and diarrhea. So they can have either one or the other, or they can alternate between the two. Important to note here is that when looking at the evidence, when statins are compared to placebos in trials, the placebos also cause these side effects as well. So it may not be the statins themselves. It may simply be taking the statin that is leading to these types of side effects. So some of these side effects are very common with other medications, but I do want to mention them here as they are possibly related to statin use. Although again, placebos can also cause these types of side effects. But some other side effects that statins can cause that are definitely caused by statins include increased blood sugars. This has been observed in patients with type 2 diabetes, and there is some evidence to suggest that it may also increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So statins can lead to increased blood sugars, but there's not much research done to look at the outcomes of this. So there is some change in blood sugars. There's some increased blood sugar levels with statins, but the outcome as to this effect has not been fully studied. It does seem to be due to statin-mediated immune responses that depress insulin functioning. So this is the reason why statins can lead to increased blood sugars. Very important. And then statins can also lead to thrombocytopenia. So thrombocytopenia is low platelet count. This seems to be a very rare side effect. There have been some case reports of severe thrombocytopenia occurring with atorvastatin use. But again, this is likely a very rare side effect. And then another possible side effect of statin use is hair loss. This is a very rare side effect, affecting likely only 1% of patients who use statins, and it likely occurs with all statins. So this is a possible side effect that can happen with other medications, but this is a possible side effect that can occur with statin use. So if you want to learn more about other medications and their side effects, please check out my pharmacology playlist, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.